coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, and not fail. strikers like you have in these two men. They're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. And he caught the kick. Watch the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Great punch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Don't stop. Come on, don't stop. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they are exchanging leather early. Slips that left hand. Straight right hand, no good. Blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And just misses with that big right hand. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That one's not good. Nice strike. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Just out of range with that strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And they separate. Oh, slips to avoid the right. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, big shot lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Just misses with the left hook. Dig and kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. Horn sack for the end of round one. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, so a nice job by this young man landing counter strikes in the previous round. We will see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. To be able to stand back and see your opponent's attack and counter so effectively is a very, very difficult skill to pick up. This young man has done that, and he has done that to a really high level. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullets. 
He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Nice punch there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big right hand, yes. Watch that strike. Left hook counter. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the side of the octagon, get back to the center, where he can dictate the pace and the pressure. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Uh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice strike. Oh! He needs to start looking the finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Unable to connect with the right. Breathe and relax, man. Breathe and relax, okay? Big clutch lands through the middle. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, that's a good right hand. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position oh. where he can get off the strike. Ooh, diving punch, man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to change that finish on him. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Let's go. Move those hips and get up. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful to take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. What a punch. Real sneaky body kick. Punch is blocked. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Good punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Powerful leg kick land. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the... Oh, didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Unable to connect it. Able to check that kick as well. Left hand punch to the clinch. You can really limit the... Whoa! That one appeared to stun him. Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Job keeping that head off the center line, slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Ooh, diving punch. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Wow! So he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.